All right. Hey, what is going on, everyone? Joseph Lombard, a.k.a. Into SC4, and this is Zachary Lombard, a.k.a. Magnum 05. Hello. And welcome to the Lombard Bros Talk Show. This is the 81st talk show we are doing right here on Lombard Bros Gaming YouTube channel. Zach, how you doing today? I'm good. How are you? I'm doing pretty good. Uh, just ready for another talk show. Ready for uh, Memorial Day weekend, too. Yeah, me too. That's coming up. You know, three-day weekend coming up for you, uh, for... For us here at Lombard Bros Gaming, um, obviously you're still watching in the mall, but then we're off Saturday, Sunday, and then uh, of course uh, we're we'll, we're gonna be off on Monday. Right. No work, you know, just no work. It's good. We're good, right? Right. So excited for a three day weekend coming up, um, and yeah, uh, some of you are uh, on summer break already. Some. People are graduating this weekend or this week, you know. Um, probably only a couple more weeks of school for some of you, maybe a week or so. But like, uh, but on that, you know, it's basically summer is right, right there, you know. Uh -huh. I'm getting ready for the summer. I'm getting ready for uh, Memorial Day weekend. I'm getting ready for June, you know. I'm just, I'm just ready for vacations coming up in June because we're gonna be out of town for a couple times in June. Um, and we're going to have family coming out in June as well. Um, but other than that, you know, the Memorial Day weekend is kind of a good start, you know, for June. Uh, but also, um, this weekend, this Sunday, is, is three of the biggest races of the year as well. It's basically, they call it the best racing day of the year. You know, you got the Monaco Grand Prix and Formula One. Um, and then you got the Indy 500 and IndyCar. And then you got... Uh, the Coca-Cola 600 and NASCAR. So uh, all that's happening on Sunday. I'm excited to watch all three of the races. Think about this with the Monaco Grand Prix, the F1 race. If I'm going to watch that race, I have to get up at 4 a.m. on Sunday morning. That's what Dad and I used to do to watch that F1 race and uh, to get up that early in the morning. Uh, but <clears throat> but but then, and then the Indy 500 should be a good race. Indy 500 is always good. And then we'll see how the Coca-Cola 600 will go as well. But, uh, but, <clears throat> so, anyway, Zach, um, how you doing today? I'm good. How are you? Yeah, doing really good. Uh, I want to let you guys know that we will have a special guest coming on in about less than 20 minutes uh, from now. Uh, Mike Ogren, he is the rookie driver for the Nissan Micro Cup Series. Uh, he just competed in his first race weekend in the series, and obviously he is, uh, uh, his primary sponsor for for the car is Lombard Bros Gaming, you know. Uh, we were going to have him on the talk show a couple weeks ago, but then we had some technical issues, unfortunately. But hopefully we got all uh, all of it uh, fixed. Uh, I worked as... <coughs> wow, what is going on? Um, I don't know what's in my throat. But I've been working as hard as I can to make sure all the stuff is fixed, so... Hopefully, we got everything fixed up and it's ready to go. Um, by the way, you see this sweet background right now, this video clip. Uh, this was from... Uh, um, this was from the k &N race I went to last Saturday night. Uh, it's just a little video clip of the race. It's pretty cool. Um, you know, it was a good time. It was my first k &N race I've ever went to, and I had a, I had a good time, you know. And Mike Ogren is in the chat right now. He's He showed up early. Uh, hopefully he's ready to go. So once I get him into the Skype call, uh, he'll be all prepared, ready to go, and uh, have him on the show. Uh, anyways, uh, so... Anyways, yeah, like I said, I went to my first k &N race uh, last weekend, and it, it was a lot of fun. It was a good time. Um... You know, I got to meet a few of the drivers uh, there as well. And uh, got to be in the pit area, uh, garage area. It was pretty cool. Uh, got to meet uh, Will Rogers. He was the one that uh, gave me a uh, uh, pit pass. Uh, <laughs> Mike Ogre is like, fingers crossed for the sound works this week. Yeah, yeah, me, me too, right? Uh, me too, baby, because here's the thing. I'm mostly the one that sets up all the... Uh, the equipment and make sure they're all good. So it's basically more pressure on me. Think about it. <laughs> but 
Hopefully it's all good. And yeah, I I'm hope just so praying. Too. Zach and I did test it out again uh, before the show, uh, and uh, it seemed like everything went well. So that's what we're praying for now. You know, <laughs> you know what I'm saying. But anyways, uh, yeah, like I said, I went to my first Canaan race at the Orange Show Speedway uh, last weekend. It was a lot of fun. I got to meet drivers like uh, Will Rogers, Haley Deegan, um, Derek Cross, uh, Cole Rouse, um, and a few other drivers there. It was uh, pretty cool. Um, but um, Ryan, uh, what is his name again? Holy crap. Um, Ryan Partridge uh, won the race, uh, so good win for him but uh yeah just a cool video background right now for the meantime and then of course uh uh soon we will switch it to oh not that background i made a mistake that oh shoot what background did i oh gosh darn it i accidentally took out the video background oh my god uh zach mm -hmm. zach what send help <laughs> oh, oh god The, I guess the video audio turned on in the background. Okay, we're good. I'm sorry if I hurt some of you guys' ears. Okay, we're good. Oh, wow, and the video's not even moving anymore. Uh, please? Uh, are we good? Okay, we're good. All okay, right, I got the video go. back on. <laughs> hey, see? Hand class, right? My bad. You know what? I'd rather have that technical issue than uh, than uh, what we're hopefully not to have in a few minutes. You know what I mean? Oh, God, I know. So, I'm we can't go one talk show without one thing, you know? I know. It's crazy. Uh, anyways, in a few minutes, we're going to have this background. Mike Gorgon's Nissan. Okay. So, uh, anyways, what were you talking about? I don't think anybody heard you because of that. Well, I was... Oh, well, I was talking about that the weather outside has been strange lately, but you did mention the fact that it's June bloom. Or gloom, duh. Well, I mean, it's technically not June yet. Almost, but... Yeah. You know how it's like that in the mornings, and then later on in the day it clears up? Yeah. We're not getting any of that today, that's for sure, but, uh, you know, I had that same scenario yesterday, you know? Yeah. Where that happened, then it, the skies opened up, and uh, blue skies, and it was cool. Uh, okay. We're good, though. Um, so, anyways, uh, so the museum is open this weekend, too, huh? Yeah. I'm surprised, because you would think that, you know, they close on any other holiday, you know? I mean, they close, like, on Thanksgiving weekend, uh, Christmas, obviously, um, and other holidays. I'm surprised they're not closed this weekend for Memorial Day. Why is that? Or do you not know? <laughs> that part, I do not know. No. <laughs> um, that's... Uh, but you're going this weekend. You Are you going Saturday? Or are uh, you just going the Sunday? I'm going Saturday, yeah. Oh, okay. So you're going both days. Right. And then Monday, you're just going to chill. Oh, yes. Just going to take the day off. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to take the day off on Monday. Uh, Memorial Day. Uh, but first, I got a busy Sunday watching three races. So, that's going to be fun. Well, good luck with that. Yeah. So, with 10 minutes in the talk show, shout out to those who are watching the talk show right now. Thank you all for stopping by and watching. Hope you guys are enjoying your Thursday so so far. Um, I almost burped. But I'm okay. I'm okay. Um, you want to mention about the cars you had this past weekend? Sure. Now? Okay, so... Zach went to the museum, as always, you know, almost every weekend he goes to. Right. Because uh, he's a volunteer, if some of you didn't know that. Uh, but uh, Zach, uh, is, I'm going to show you. 
you guys three more cars that Zach had at the Automobile Drive Museum last Sunday. So, Zach, can you explain what this first car is? This one is a 1951 Nash Super Statesman. I like that. I like I like the color. I like the, the light blue. I like the light blue roof. And then you got the dark blue car. That That's a nice... I like that car. That... Well, it's a two-tone paint job. That's what it is. Now, we're, now I want to ask you this. Were all the cars clutches? Well, all of them were stick this Sunday, yes. So you weren't able to drive any of these? Well, I would have, but the thing is, the one who was going to teach me was very busy mm-hmm. because, because they were filming a documentary or something. Oh, about the museum? Could be that or probably... Probably about one particular car. Who knows? Ah. All right. Explain this one. This one, I was really hoping to uh, learn how to drive, but sadly couldn't. But it's a 1948 Studebaker Commander Starlight Coupe. Pretty cool, man. I like the color on that, too. Yeah, I do love the color. I always like the white wheels. I like the The, white tires. The white walls? I always like the white walls on any old style car, including this one, you know? Yeah. I mean, I always like the white wall tires. And uh, what about this one? This one is a 1937 Chrysler Royal four-door sedan. Now, the other two we saw... The other two that we saw... It was a three-speed column shifter. This one is a three-speed also, but a floor shifter. Nice. Yeah, mom went and asked, are white walls still around? Like, can you still add white wall wheels, like tires? Well, you can on old old cars, of course, but... What if I want to put it on my Chevy Malibu? You <laughs> see, I think in order to find any white wall tires nowadays, you want to find some kind of shop where they would actually have white wall tires. I mean, it could be a little hard to find nowadays, though. You need to put the white wall tires on your Magnum. That would be awesome. I would, I would so, I would so like that. Zach, you need to make that happen. Why, why not, guys? White wall tires on Zach's Magnum. That would be awesome. Just, you know, your car is like, you know, 2000s, but it's also an old car. You know, it's like you get, you get the combo. You get the, the two, you know, the two and one, you know? Right. That'd be pretty cool. Um, can you imagine them on my Chevy Malibu, though? Oh. <laughs> that would be interesting. Ah, oh, Mom, come on. Dad would like that. No! Let's put it on the Jeep! Oh, my... And see, Dad, you can't tell us not to do it because, you know, we... It's our Jeep now, you know? Dude, let's put it on the Jeep. Oh, my... Can you imagine the big white wall tires on the Jeep? We well, can, I don't think that would work out. Why not? Well, cause How would you, you know? know? Well, because you know the Jeep has, uh, like, those tires where you climb on mountains, rocks, and stuff. That's what any typical Jeep has. You can make Jeep tires, uh, white walls. Just customize the tires, you know? The talk show, uh, let's have some questions and answers right now. If you have a, any questions for me, or any questions for Zach, or any questions for the both of us, feel free. And we will, uh, uh answer some questions from you guys and then afterwards we're gonna get uh mike ogren on the show uh uh the guy that comes in first is gonna win the indy 500 that's always the answer it's always the answer that's always the answer uh of course always the answer Ooh, i want to check something really quick oh, okay we're good we're good uh, well, I already went to a Canaan and race last weekend. I'm going to another one in, at a, up in Sonoma next month. They also have a Canaan and race uh, on that Saturday before the, um, the cup race. <laughs> Let's see. What's next? What do we got? Uh, Paperboy 3. I'm no. sorry, but there is no Paperboy no, 3. No, he said, do you like to have Paperboy... I think, would you like for it if there was a Paperboy 3? No, I would not like it. Well, I know you wouldn't like it. I mean, besides, there is no Paperboy 3. <laughs> we we know that there's no Paperboy 3. I think what he meant is that, would you like if there was Paperboy 3? I would have said no. Well, I obviously. know you would say no. 
Uh, what did I think about the Battlefield 5 reveal? I'm excited for Battlefield 5. I'm excited for that and Black Ops 4. I'm really looking forward to those two uh, shooters. Do I play more on Xbox, PS4, or PC? I, you know what? I mean, I'm, I would say I play more console than PC, but I'm back and forth on Xbox and PS4. So uh, I, I, I think it's about half and half on that. Uh, the guy, what are my three picks for the three races I'm saying? The guy that finishes first in the Monaco Grand Prix, the guy that finishes first in the Indy 500, and the guy that finishes first in the Coca-Cola 600. There you go. <laughs> there's a really there's a nascar heat 3 announcement on sunday i didn't know that i'm surprised 704 games didn't tell me that uh 704 games if that is true there's gonna be a nascar heat 3 announcement on sunday um why uh why was uh, why, why, why why wasn't i told what, what, what wait could it be on their site Says David, how did how would David Land know and not me? Like, that's whatever. Um, it's not even on their Twitter. You would think they would say something on their Twitter. It's not even on their Twitter. Besides, <laughs> I don't care what David Land says. Um, let's see. <laughs> Still working on iRacing, to so tired of lag. Um, if you want to help uh, reduce some of the lag for your iRacing turnoffs, uh, lower some of the details with the grandstands, the particles, um, just the details of the game, you can even turn them off completely if that works for you, if you're having that problem with uh, iRacing. Uh, try that and see how that goes. What's the worst NASCAR game that's ever made, in your opinion? I'm going to say the PS... Or, like, the PS3, Xbox 360 version of NASCAR 08, in my opinion. That or NASCAR the game 2011. NASCAR 08, because of the driving model, is so terrible. Uh, um, according to uh, one of Racing's uh, NASCAR 08 series. And then NASCAR the game 2011. It's just, uh... It's... Yeah. I don't know. So, what do we got? <laughs> the IndyCar Red Pill Bandwagoner's Guide. <laughs> An insane YouTuber. <laughs> That's, I like that. I like the way you described him. All right, so I guess uh, that should do it for questions right now. I'm going to do, right now, guys, I am going to get... Mike Ogren on the talk show right now. Let me just, uh, give me just a minute, um, to get him in on the show. Let me see here. Uh, I know I can add other people. Oh, add people to this call. Wait. Talk sec. Uh, hello? Wait, hold on. Talk? Hello. Uh, hold on. Oh, wait, my speaker's unmuted. I'm sorry. One second. Mike Ogre on the show, guys. Um, let's see. Add people to this call. There we go. There he is. Let's see. He gets in. Come on. Give him the show. Yes that one wait oh wait a minute oh yeah I gotta change the background really quick let me do that real quick first there we go I got it and I uh, created a special uh, background for that but wait let me uh, do that first Okay, I'm gonna...
real quick sec. Okay. And then I'm gonna let me get Mike in first, and then I'm gonna get you in. Okay. Hello. Hey, all right, guys. Hey, uh, Mike, uh, can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. Can you hear me all right? Yeah, I can hear you well. Can you, can you hear me? Okay. Uh, uh, what's going on, man? Hey, I'm doing good. How are you guys doing? Uh, day's been pretty good. So, uh, for those of you that don't know, actually, uh, I work for Nissan uh, as an engineer. So that's my my Monday through Friday gig. Um, so just got home from that uh, maybe an hour or so ago, and I've uh, uh, been waiting to to do this and excited to to meet you guys. Well, talk to you guys and, and meet some of the fans and and talk about what we're doing here. Yeah, yeah, sure thing. So uh, I've uh, I've been racing, you know, since I was since I was a little kid. I uh, got into go karts real early, um, and uh, did some uh, you know go karts up through my childhood. Uh, moved into some circle track stuff. Did some autocross. Moved into road racing. Uh, raced a Volkswagen Scirocco for a number of years, uh, and then been trying to find a way to make a jump into. Uh, uh, pro or, or some sort of pro series um, found this uh, the micro cup that runs up in Canada and uh, we've been trying to find a way to do that and uh, you know luckily as you guys well know I uh, reached out to Lombard Bros Gaming and we uh, uh, got to talking and we both liked what the, uh, the other person had to say and uh, here we are today so I don't know if that's a maybe a real real brief overview of myself but uh I don't know, a couple other non-racing things, I guess. I live in uh, the Detroit area in Michigan. Um, I am married, and I live with my wife and two cats, which are around somewhere. So that's the that's the real brief history. So. Sounds good, man. Uh, well, so last weekend you had your, uh, you basically started off your career in the Nissan Micro Cup. Uh, first, I want to get in, uh, before I get into uh, your race weekend last weekend, yeah, so uh, kind of like I said before, I'd, uh, I've been doing, you know, amateur racing or, or kind of the, the higher levels of amateur racing for a while. And like uh, like a lot of drivers or kids or people in racing, uh, I wanted to I wanted to take the next step and, and get into a, a pro series. So, uh, like I mentioned, I work for Nissan. I'd seen some uh, information about the Micro Cup uh internally on some uh, some emails internally i uh, reached out to the right people about that got more information um sounded like something that would be really appealing to do um as uh, i don't know how much uh, you know some of some of the fans know about this but the micro cup runs on the same weekends as uh like the, the camping world truck series at the most sport weekend um we just ran the, our first race weekend was support for the, the nascar pinty series up in canada uh, we run alongside Pirelli World Challenge, so we're running it, uh, you know, really, really cool pro uh, pro weekends with a lot of exposure and a lot of fans, uh, and that was uh, the next step that we were looking to do, and uh, so far, it's been nothing but uh, but awesome. So. so you ran your first uh, weekend um, of your Nissan Micro Cup career, and uh, I was watching, I wasn't able to watch the first race, but I heard that uh, you did really well. I was, I was able to watch the full second race. Uh, 
you know, racing in, in that series. And uh, hopefully uh, once uh, in the near future, you know, things just get better and better as, as the race goes on. And uh, who knows, maybe eventually you'll get up there to get some wins. Yeah, so that's a, that's a really good question. Um, the, the course of the weekend was, uh, you know, I went into it with a, a lot of, a lot of confidence, but also a lot of nerves, you know, this is, like I said, kind of the first time I've uh, gotten into the, the kind of pro or at least entry level pro series. Um, you know, I put a lot of, a lot of pressure on myself uh, to do well. I wanted to make you guys proud and, uh, and all that. So I actually, uh, as some of you may have seen, um, if you follow uh, our Instagram or, or uh, follow uh, any of that stuff, uh, I actually backed it into a wall in our first test session. So, uh, but we were able to get the car back together, ended up being not too bad. Uh, got the car back together and, uh, and, and learned, turned the learning curve down a little bit from there. Uh, and like you said, we ended up uh, putting together right about a mid-pack finish both Saturday and Sunday. Um, and yeah, of course, the, the goal is to, to get up front and be fighting for wins and fight for a championship. Uh, but for our first weekend, you know, I'd never been to uh, Canadian Tire Motorsport Park or Motorsport before. Um, so I, I was I was pleased to uh, to finish right around mid pack, put the car on the trailer in one piece, and uh, hopefully start moving up the up the standings throughout the season. Now it looked like in the Saturday race, you know, you were racing in the fog and the rain, and uh, during the test and practice session, it looked like it was just mostly you know in the clear skies, uh, the dry racetrack. Was that a challenge for you? Yeah, for sure. So, uh, really good point, right? We, like I said, there was a Thursday, uh, Thursday practice day, and then uh, Friday practice and qualifying. Uh, it was all really dry, really beautiful weather, honestly. Um, and like I said, it's the first time I've been to the track. Uh, we've been maybe picking up maybe half a second uh, every session and lap time. So, progressively getting better. And we were, I was feeling real confident going into Saturday's race. And then, yeah, fog and rain all day Saturday. So, uh, basically starting from square one, right? Uh, it's just, totally uh totally new atmosphere and environment so I, I tried to tried to be pretty cautious in that race um wasn't able to you know I, I i wanted to avoid uh putting the car on a wall again so i was relatively cautious but uh it paid off finished ninth uh, you know top 10 finish in there in my first race uh at a rainy track that i don't know super well uh, i was i was pretty pleased with uh and then you know as you know sunday cleared up uh, it was really pretty and we had a, a really tight race um for, uh, for finishing eight. It just throws you a little curveball, doesn't it? You know, you go from dry weather all of a sudden when race day comes, rain and fog, you know? Exactly, it's yep. It's more of a challenge, but uh, so the Sunday race, it seemed like, you know, you had the lead pack in a few cars in that group, but then there was like a second pack where you were around a few cars. Uh, um, obviously, uh, they uh, showed you guys every now and then on the broadcast, and it was fun to watch. Yeah, so uh, as you saw, the uh, the racing in this class is really close. Um, you know, like you said, the, the front five were having a really good battle and a little bit back in the pack. I think maybe uh, eighth, uh, eighth through maybe 12th or 13th, we were nose to tail, trading positions every lap. Uh, and it is, it's really tough. Uh, and those drivers, you know, guys that have uh, maybe been driving with each other or against each other for a year or two years or three years at this point, um, you know, they, they're not as familiar driving with me. Um, so I tried to try to be respectful and, and give each other enough, uh, room to race, but at the same time, uh, the cars, <laughs> the cars are really slow. Um, but slow racing when you got 20, you know, 17, 20 cars out there is, is really good when it's all packed together. So, um, like you said, it, being able to, to go at it with those guys and be close, uh, every, every inch counts. Uh, and I, I think I just posted uh, my race videos up on YouTube. Uh, I think last night they should have been posted. Um, and I mean, there you know, people are bump drafting just like a NASCAR, 
trying to get every every last second. So, um, like you said, it, it's it's tough to be. Uh, everyone's fighting for every inch, and uh, you gotta you gotta be assertive when you need to. Um, but you also you gotta race with these guys. You know, twelve races on the season, so we can't go uh, can't be too aggressive and 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 ruin a, a relationship on the first weekend. So. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Like you said, uh, you know, trying to learn who who's good to race with and who I maybe don't want to be too close to. Uh, I don't know if, if I assume you saw it on the uh, on the video. Uh, the pack that I was in, uh, I got up to eighth, and the guys that were in ninth and tenth actually wiped each other out. Uh, one of them rolled over, and it was a, it was a big mess. And yeah. So. Uh, we definitely did see that. <laughs> Exactly. Yes. Yeah, so I, was, I was glad to be in front of those guys when that happened, obviously. So. That's right. Yep. Yeah, so uh, I think it's going to end up being maybe somewhere in between the two. Um, you know, uh, like I said, I, I I wouldn't be doing this uh, if uh, if I didn't if I didn't think uh, I had a shot to to be with those guys running up front. Um, and hopefully we get to that point. Uh, you know, at some point at some time this season uh, to be up. You know, at least at least fighting in that lead pack, right? Uh, maybe not maybe not winning every race our first year out, but uh, to be at least fighting in that pack. <clears throat> and having a shot uh, at, at at least giving those guys a good race up front, uh, that's that's kind of the goal for this year is to at least be mixing it up with uh, with these guys that are that have been doing this for a few years and know the cars really well and know the tracks really well. Um, I at least want to be able to to, to get up there and, and show those guys that I belong with them um, and and have a, a a good showing in the point standings at the end of the year. I think uh, after our first two race results, we're sitting uh, seventh in points. Um, so I'm hoping to. Hoping to improve on that a little bit throughout the season. Um, I'd be really pleased to finish in the top five in points at the end of my first year. Um, and then, yeah, hopefully, uh, you know, build on that going into next year or, or whatever the case may be. But um, I guess the simple answer is I, I, I'm, I'm a pretty competitive guy and uh, I got a, a lot of faith in myself to uh, my, my goal is to be up, mixing it up with those front runners by the end of this year. Yeah, for sure. So I think uh, I think in the comments it looked like uh, uh, 
they posted the, uh, you know, we're pretty active on Instagram. Uh, I think all those links are in there. Uh, I can, uh, uh, I, well, I'll share them in the comments once we, uh, once we get moving on here, but uh, we're pretty active on Instagram, pretty active on our, our Facebook live page. Uh, I use Twitter a little bit as well, um, but we're, we try to get content up on all three platforms. Uh, it's a little different in each one. So uh, if you want to go ahead and give a follow uh, uh, on all of them, that'd be great. Or, you know, if you only, maybe you only use one or something like that, that's okay too. Um, but yeah, we, uh, we try to be real active about getting, uh, getting content up so everyone can follow along and, uh, and know what's going on. Um, and then additionally, just uh, uh, like you said, uh, the series, the Micro Cup series uh, airs the, all the races live this season on their Facebook page. Um, so that's, that's another great way to, at least, you know, to follow along for the actual races too. Sounds good. Well, we're going to allow a, a few, uh, of our viewers in the chat to ask you some questions. So if you guys have any questions in the chat right now that you would like to ask Michael Grin, I would be, that would be, uh, very cool of you, uh, to see, uh, uh, what's happening there so we can get, uh, to him. Um, so that's funny. So, uh. Yep. Yeah, so the the next race is uh, actually coming up real soon. It's next weekend, so not this coming Memorial Day weekend. The following weekend, uh, June second and third, uh, we'll be up at a uh, Calabogie, I think Motor Sports Park, I think it's called, uh, up near Ottawa in Canada. Um, that's races three and four. Uh, so the second race weekend is uh, is next weekend, June second and third. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I appreciate all that, and I feel the same way. You know, I, it's uh, it's funny. I, you know, I, I we we're trying really hard to to make this season happen, and uh, you know, I, I think uh, for whatever reason, I was brought to you guys, and uh, you know, it's it's been a, a good relationship, a great relationship so far. Uh, you guys have been nothing but supportive uh, to us and to me, uh, and you know, I'm just I'm just out there trying to trying to make you guys proud and uh, and, and keep you happy and. Uh, like you said, who knows what will happen. We'll, we'll continue to try to get better, try to get faster, and uh, uh, and see where that takes us. So it's it's been nothing but the best from you guys and all the fans, too. Uh, actually, the people that are already following along on uh, on Instagram and Facebook and everything, uh, it's been a lot of support. You know, people that have um, that I've never met before, which is awesome, that are, that are reaching out and congratulating me on a good weekend or uh, whatever the case may be. So I really appreciate that from you guys and from all the fans, too. And it was great to meet uh, – Matt, while we're up there, and uh, and get to know him a little bit too. So sounds pretty good, man. Well, we appreciate. It. All right, so we got a question here, um, Mike. Uh, it, it not um, obviously you're racing in the Micro Cup series, but do you plan on like racing in any more, is being in any more type of racing, or are you gonna stick in the Micro Cup series? Uh, not you. Uh, well, it uh, kind of depends on uh, what life brings, right? If uh, uh, if we find, I think the, the question was, you know, asking if uh, 
if NASCAR or Indy or something like that would, uh, would ever be in, in our future. Um, and yeah, I, that's, that's the dream, right. Is to go be, uh, go be that guy that's running in, in NASCAR or Indy or formula one or something, uh, something like that. But, uh, as we kind of mentioned about the micro cup, it's, uh, it's more of, it's kind of an entry level pro series, kind of that step up, um, from what we were doing. And yeah, the hope is to, is to do well, continue to improve here. Um, and build on that and either run in this for, uh, and be competitive in this, or, uh, if we find a way to, uh, to move up maybe into a, a more familiar series, uh, of course, that's something we're going to explore if, uh, if the opportunity comes along. Uh, am I a NASCAR fan and how did I become a NASCAR fan? I am a NASCAR fan. I would say I follow it a bit less than I used to actually. Um, I, uh, uh, you know, I, of course I've, as a, as a racer, uh, I love, you know, I'll watch pretty much anything, uh, any sort of racing, right? That's, I think that's how a lot of us are. Um, if there's, if there's people trying to drive, uh, drive stuff fast, we're, we're pretty into it. So, um, but yeah, I, uh, I, te- I, I don't follow it as closely as I used to, um, but of course I, I do enjoy watching uh, uh, a good race whenever, whenever I have the time to, you know, if I'm not out myself racing, <clears throat> I'll catch one now and then. Um, and especially, you know, I, I grew up in, uh, in Florida. Um, of course, you know, Daytona down there, um, big time, big NASCAR following down the south. Um, so yeah, I, I kind of grew up around it and, uh, and yeah, I, I, I'm into it. Uh, just a bit less than I used to, maybe. So. Now, obviously, when you did watch NASCAR a lot back then, did you have a driver that you root for, or did you just, were you just an overall fan of NASCAR? Yeah, good question. So, uh, my favorite NASCAR driver was uh, Clint Boyer. Uh, I'll, I'll never forget, I think, uh, in the day, yeah, so in, in the, I forget what year it was, but a while back, uh, in the Daytona 500, he uh, he slid across the finish line on his roof, and uh, and that I don't know. Of course, he didn't really mean to do that, but uh, that stuck with me forever. Uh, it stuck with me for a long time, so I always kind of became a, a follower of him, and uh, and always uh, it, that was probably my favorite driver. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I hear you. you know, but I guess I kind of like that. You know, all the drivers are very competitive and they get that, you know, the adrenaline's up, they get fiery, you know, they get angry when something happens to them. It's, it's, it's awesome, man. It's just fun to watch. Uh, um, yep. So uh, I want to actually watch, um, let's see, uh, do you watch any, uh, do you watch any Formula One racing or like, what do you like, what do you mostly watch? 
Like, what do you, what kind of racing do you really enjoy? Um, yeah, so I mean, for like you said, a lot of a lot of road racing stuff. I guess I prefer, uh, you know, road racing maybe to uh, to like NASCAR. So I like Formula One. I like uh, uh, the WeatherTech, like IMSA series. Uh, I watch a lot of that. Um, and I think there's a, a question there. I think is what you're kind of getting at. Someone asked who my favorite uh, Formula One driver is, and I'm gonna go with Daniel Ricardo. He, uh, you gotta respect the shoey, man. That is. Uh, that is gross and awesome all at the same time, and uh, you know makes for a, a unique driver that you gotta like. So. Absolutely, that was the shoe. Yeah, that's. Uh, I see where you go with that. Yeah, I uh, go for uh, Max Verstappen too. Okay. Yep. Yeah. So Red Bull, basically. Yep. Uh, uh, let's see. So if you guys have any more questions for Mike, uh, feel free and uh, again follow him on social media. He's on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. He has a YouTube channel, Mike Over Racing. Uh, Yeah, appreciate it. Yeah, no problem. No problem. Um, so, um, well, it, it, man, it <laughs> happens to me a lot where I have something in my mind, all of a sudden it just it just went out. Um, I wanna, um, I wanna ask you, uh, what is your favorite racing moment? Like, like, just in that, like, whether it's in the Mike and Cup series. Uh, yeah, so the, the, the one that comes to mind for me is, uh, so uh, SCCA, I, I don't, some of you guys might know, some of you might not, Sports Car, Sports Car Club of America uh, is kind of the, uh, I guess, the highest level of maybe amateur racing, uh, it, road racing in the U.S. Um, there's not really any money in it, but that's, you know, where this, this sanctioning body uh, that most people go to race for fun. Uh, and their highest level is called the Majors Tour. They do the Majors Tour. Uh, across all sorts of tracks in the U.S., um, and my first win in a uh, SCCA major came at Watkins Glen, uh, which was my dad's uh, home track. He he raced, uh, you know, when he was younger. Uh, he's my crew chief now, uh, and that was his home track. He spent you know a ton of hours, a ton of days there, uh, and uh, and we were there. Uh, Would have been in 2016. Uh, we went out there and did a majors race, and that was my first majors win. Was uh, at my dad's home track, so it was, that was really cool. tracks that a lot of drivers like to go to uh whether it's in any racing series uh that's uh pretty cool to get that done um and uh it's pretty cool uh, that your father is uh still working with you and helping you out with in your racing career i think that's uh pretty cool so we got about 10 minutes left in the talk show guys if you still have any questions for mike over and want to get to know more about him again you can follow him on social media on facebook twitter instagram YouTube channel. He has a YouTube channel, Mike Over Racing. Um, he said he just he did say that uh, his races uh, from last weekend is up on his YouTube channel. Uh, if you want to check that out, you you uh, most certainly can. Um, what Mike? Uh, so someone asked, uh, do you play any video games? If so, what is your favorite game? Yeah, so uh, another good question. These are, these are all really good questions, actually. So I uh, I. <laughs> I have an Xbox One that I I am sad to say I haven't touched for uh, for a while. Um, so I, I like playing video games, but uh, uh, I just haven't really found enough time to uh, to 
to commit uh, in favor of doing other things like, you know, getting all this set up uh, with the micro cup and, uh, you know, I choose to spend my time maybe, uh, you know, watching track videos of uh, uh, try to get better and whatnot. So I don't spend as much time uh, uh, playing video games or, or racing video games as much as I used to, but I uh, played a lot of, a lot of Halo in my time. Um, I, I used to play Forza uh, quite a bit, you know, whatever the latest Forza was, but uh, so yeah, I guess to the direct answer to the question is no, I don't currently really play any video games, but if I did, I'd be playing Halo or Forza. Uh, two good uh, gaming series, Halo and Forza. Forza, I do spend a little more time than uh, Halo, but uh, no, some pretty good games. Uh, um, all right, so let me see. Uh, any more questions, guys, you got for my Google? Uh, oh, so, okay, so other than racing, do you watch any other kind of sports? And if so, what is your favorite sports team? Yeah, so I am a pretty big sports fan, kind of, kind of whatever it is. I, I like watching a good, uh, uh, you know, a good game or a good event or what have you. Uh, I played uh, a lot of different sports growing up through high school and college and stuff. Uh, I am a Buffalo Bills fan, which has been pretty painful. Um, but, uh, yeah, I, I was born in Rochester, New York. Uh, I still have a lot of family there. Uh, so that's how I kind of try to keep my tie to, uh, to, to where I was born by following the Bills. And it's, uh, they just made the playoffs for the first time in, uh, in 19 years or 18 years last year. Um, but, of course, lost in a really boring game to the Jaguars. So uh, but we'll see. So, yeah, I'm, I'm a Bills fan. Uh, other than that, um, you know, I, I, I follow other sports as well. But – um yeah i'm a bills fan i'm uh i guess hitting all the sports uh who would it be basketball i don't follow quite as much uh, i'm a lightning fan unfortunately just uh just ended their season last night in game seven uh of the, the conference finals um and i'm a tampa bay Rays fan so those are my those are my go-tos so nice. see um, we're a baseball fans here and so far our dodgers are not doing pretty good right now <laughs> <laughs> at least you're not one of those people that just leaves their team, you know, no matter whether it's good or bad. So, uh, that's right. That's right. Every year is a new year. Everyone's zero and zero right now. That's right. They could have a terrible year, and also next year they could be champions. That's right, man. Yep. It could go either way, just kind of like the Dodgers right now. They were <laughs> last year and all of a sudden this year. I don't know what's going on with them. So. Who knows? I actually don't think I have. Um, trying to think back, if I if I ever made it out to a NASCAR race, which is maybe kind of embarrassing uh, that I never made it out to Daytona. I haven't lived pretty close to it, but uh, no. Usually, um, if I if I go out to a race, it'll be well. I take that back. We went to uh, we actually went last year to the the Camping World Truck Series race at uh, at Mosport to try to get a feel for uh, the weekend and the the Micro Cup Series. Um, but no, I haven't been to a, a NASCAR race before. Um, I've driven at Daytona, but uh, I've not been to a, a you know one of the, the high series uh, events. Usually, uh, I went to the uh, the Sebring 12 Hour uh, American Le Mans Series race quite a few times growing up, uh, and that's that was more kind of my jam. Uh -oh. My brother's chat right now. Um, let me see here really quick. I don't know what just. Uh, I just don't know what happened with my chat. It just for a reason, I guess it decided to shut off. You know, it just uh -oh. like you know what? Uh, I don't want to be here anymore. <laughs> so trying to get that back going. Uh, so we got a few minutes left of the talk show, guys. Uh, that means a few more minutes. If you guys have any questions for uh, Mike, uh, feel free. Uh, Get like at least a couple more questions in before we end up the talk show here. So again, if you guys have any questions for Mike, feel free to 
for uh, Laura, for him. <laughs> uh, feel free. Uh, again, I want to remind you guys one more time that uh, that uh, you can follow Mike on social media: Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, YouTube. Uh, he will be he uh, posts every now and then. Uh, keep you guys up to date on his uh, racing career. And if you want to get to know more about him through there, you can. Driver for the Micro Cup Series and the Nissan Micro Cup Series. He just had his first competitive uh, Micro Cup Series weekend. Uh, race one and two, and race one he finished ninth, and then race two he finished eighth, and he's sitting seventh in the points right now. And so that's a uh, pretty good, um, good start to his uh, career. Um, again, if you want to follow him, uh, the social media as I mentioned, it's in the chat right now. Mike, what is your favorite kind of food? Oof. Um, uh, so I, uh, recently, maybe four months ago, switched over to, uh, being a vegetarian. So that has changed my, uh, maybe my scope of, uh, what I can answer to that. Um, I don't know. I, I ah, man, I hate not giving a good answer. Um, but it really, if, if it's good, I like it. You know, I, I, I like good Mexican food. I like good, uh, uh, there's really good Indian food up in the Detroit area. Uh, that's kind of grown on me quite a bit since we've moved up here. Um, I like Italian. It's all good. I, if it's good food, I like it. I, I, that's a that's a pretty terrible answer, but it's true. I guess my mom started on Mexican food. She loves Mexican food. <laughs> so uh, if you, as soon as she said Mexican food, I'm like, yep, it is good. That's um, that's one of my uh, favorite kinds of food too. And also Italian food is pretty good as well. Yeah, it looks like I'm trying to trying to get talked into joining an online race at some point here. Um, I don't know. If, yeah, it's, I thought I saw a couple comments in there, but uh, we'll see. We'll see if we can maybe make that work in in a at some point this year. But yeah, I, I saw that too. Like people people want that. It's like you never know, guys. It could be. <laughs> Obviously, uh, we really appreciate uh, working with you so far. Like I said, you're a very respectful guy, very kind. Uh, uh, we couldn't ask for a better person to work with uh, in the future. And, of course, we stay the same for uh, Ryan Sig Racing in the NASCAR Xfinity Series. And uh, hopefully, like we tell them, we wish you the best of luck in your uh, in the Micro Cup season. Obviously, like I said, you finished off your first weekend. Now you're going into your second weekend next weekend. Uh, hopefully, uh See some more improvement from you and uh, see if we can see you get a couple more wins, uh, get a couple wins this season, and maybe even uh, run down for the championship in years to come. So, uh, Mike, I want to thank you again for, uh, for spending some time with us today. Uh, like I said, uh, who knows? We might have you back on the show sooner or later again. Uh, soon, uh, coming up. Uh, but uh, anything you want to say uh, to the, uh, the talk show right now, Mike? Any final words? Uh, no, I just kind of want to echo what you said. You know, I'm uh, I'm happy to be uh, associated with, uh, with Lombard Bros Gaming. Uh, you know, like I've like I've said, it's been you know you guys have been great to me already. Uh, even early this season, it's been uh, it's been a good relationship already. Uh, nothing but support from uh, from both uh, you guys and from uh, from all the fans. So really appreciate everyone following along and uh, giving their support and, and wishing me luck and all that. Um, and yeah, like you said, trying to. Uh, keep getting better, keep getting faster, and uh, uh, you know, trying to trying to put the Lombard Bros car uh, up front as best we can. That's good. That car would look good up front, and hopefully, uh, maybe we will see that sometime this season. And uh, you know what? Um, I feel that you got a lot of uh, potential in you in your uh, career. So uh, who knows? We might eventually see that this season. And like I said, maybe Lombard Bros Gaming can be a, a championship-winning car too. You as a winning driver, a championship driver. Hopefully, we see some of that from you in the, whether this season or in the future to come, in years to come for the Micro Cup Series. So, Mike, again, thanks a lot for joining us. I hope you have a great rest of your day and uh, good luck next weekend uh, for your next race weekend. And hopefully, uh, we see you get a good result out of it. All right, guys. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. Yeah, take care.
a good guy. Yeah, good guy. Mike is a good guy. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed Mike Ogren. Mike Ogren, again, uh, rookie driver for the Nissan Micro Cup Series this season. Uh, like I say, he finished ninth in this first race and then finished eighth in the second race this past weekend at Canadian Tire Motorsport Park. Uh, and we wish him the best of luck for the rest of the season. And uh, hopefully we have Mike again for the rest of uh, another time in this uh, talk show. Uh, but really nice guy. What do you think about him, Zach? Well, he is a really great guy. He is. Really good guy? Yeah, I, I really enjoy Mike, and uh, I really uh, really appreciate uh, him taking the time today to be on the talk show, um, and uh, hopefully good things to come uh, with the relationship with Lombard Bros Gaming and Mike Gogren from, from, for the rest of this season and for years to come. So, uh, anyways, guys, um, we, uh, we would... Uh, Love to stay a little more, but uh, unfortunately we are out of time. Uh, next week, next Thursday, we will have, we will be back for the next talk show here on Lombard Bros Gaming YouTube channel. Um, uh, I apologize. It seemed like you guys barely heard me at all and heard Zach. Um, I don't know what went wrong with that because everything went well with that. But at least you guys got to hear Mike Ogren. Uh, that was really the main part. Uh, of our problems last time is that you you guys would not be able to hear Mike at all. At least you guys heard Mike this time, and uh, I know you guys barely um, heard uh, heard Zachary and I. But uh, at least uh, you guys got to hear Mike, and that was very important. But uh, um, anyways, guys, we're done with the talk show for this week. Um, tune in next Thursday for another talk show uh, from seven to eight p.m. Eastern time. Uh, we talk show number 82. So, hope you guys have a great rest of your day, a great rest of your Thursday. Joseph Lombard, a.k.a. Into SC4, with Zachary Lombard, a.k.a. Magnum 5. I kind of punched your arm, but yeah, you we're kind of okay now. Uh, and we will see you guys next Thursday on another Lombard Bros Talk Show. Take care and bye bye.